Stick around, and we'll get right to it. You know, I've pretty much gotten to the point in my ham journey that I'm no longer concerned with powering the radios in the event of a major power outage or a storm or, you know, whatever life may throw at us. I've pretty much got my basis covered with enough lithium iron phosphate batteries and solar panels, well, that that radio is just really not a consideration anymore. However, ever since Hurricane Helene last fall, I have been way more concerned with other things that I might need to power during a storm or after a storm comes through my area. And that's where I've really been digging these power stations that have come out. Now, that uh, saw that you just saw me running at the very beginning of this video, that's a 12 inch compound miter saw. That is a big boy. That's not one of the small ones. I just made uh, roughly about 20 cuts through a 2 by 4 material and I only used about 4% of that battery pack. Recently, the wife and I were redoing three of her raised garden beds, and I made about 50 cuts with the Mega One, another Opus product. Not this one that you're going to see here in just a second, but it's Bigger Brother. I made about 50 cuts through 2x6 material that particular day and still had 73% battery at the end of a five-hour workday. So that's kind of what I've been experimenting with is just to see what all I I could run with one of these power stations in the event that I absolutely needed to. Because let's face it, uh, yes, powering the radio is important, but you may need to make a repair after some storm damage when the power is still out. You might need to run medical equipment. Uh, you might need to power your refrigerator. Well, this little unit that I'm about to show you is capable all of that. Before we take a look at this box, I do want to let you guys know that it's $450 during the launch period for this box. However, if you use the code that I'm going to put across the screen right here, you can save an additional 5%. So that brings it down to a roughly $427. And when you do the math, guys, that's like 29 cents a watt hour. These things are getting ridiculously affordable. Now, taking a look at the unit, let's look at the front of it first. You'll see that this is very familiar to the other uh, Opus units that I have reviewed in the past. We get the three AC units. We get a couple of USB-A, a couple of USB-C. These are both good for 140 watts. You get the beautiful big display right here telling you everything that's going on with the unit. You've got the master power switch, and then you've got some 12 volt outlets. Now, if I have to say something negative about this product, it would be the 12 volt section because it's only good for 10 amps. Most people, that's going to be fine, but uh, with us being ham radio operators, you can't power a QRO radio with 10 amps. So keep that in mind uh, because both of the barrel plugs right here and the power port itself is only good for 10 amps. On the side of the unit, we've got solar inputs right here. That'll take from 12 to 30 volts. I believe you can also plug this in to your car if you want to while you're driving and get recharged that way. And then right here, we've got the primary uh, commercial power plug to recharge this unit. Now, one of the other things that I really like about these Opus devices is their Bluetooth. You can see my Mega One right there. But let's take a look at the Exodus 1500. And this app will show us every single thing that is going on with the unit as, uh, as it relates to what power is being drawn out of or what power is being put back into the unit. If I scroll down just a little bit in the app, you'll see that I've got the AC side of the unit turned on. We can quickly and easily turn that off by just clicking on the button in the app. Uh, the DC side, same thing. If we want to turn that on, we would just click right here, and that would turn on the DC side of the unit. It lets us know the temperature of the unit, and it tells us right now with what we're pulling off of it, we're going to get three days and 18 hours. 
Now I just connected this to grid power so I could start recharging the unit. And you can see what we're putting into the unit right up here in the top right corner. And that will slowly ramp up until it reaches its full input uh, coming from the wall. You could also, uh, if you had it connected to solar, you would see that on the top left. So lots of good information right here inside of this app. So there's a look around at the Exodus 1500 by Opus. Guys, you can probably see why I'm so excited about these power stations and how I can utilize them to power various household appliances and power tools in the event that we lose power during or after a storm. This thing could really come in clutch for getting things done. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.